Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We're here. Sunny David Lloyd, Saturday morning with uh, Mr. Leon Sabri. How are you, mate? All good, thanks, Joe. You good? I'm very well, thank you. Um, last spoke last week. In that week, Nina Hughes with her trainer Kevin Lilly has now flown over to Perth ahead of her world title defence against Shanika Johnson. Um, yeah, so she's almost been there a week now. I'm sure you spoke to her on the phone daily. Uh, how's she getting on? Yeah, she's doing good, Joe. So she's coming into fight week now. She uh, finished sparring at her last spar yesterday. Three strong spars out there with a local girl. I think it was a former world champion. So uh, spoke to Kev. She's uh, in good spirits. She's in good shape. And she's uh, raring to go. Enjoying it out there? It's a very different world down under. Yeah, I think they've been to a couple of zoos, seen a couple of kangaroos and stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, no, she's, she's taking it all in as well and enjoying the experience. Yeah, certainly. And obviously, it is down under. You can't really get any further away in the world. So, adjusted to the time difference. I know it's slightly strange because she's going to be fighting kind of US time, but in Australia. But yeah, all the adaptations done, necessary for, what is it, next Saturday now? Yeah, yeah, next Saturday. So, yeah, everything's good. She, uh, she adjusted quite quickly. She's been to Australia a few times. So I think it took her two days and it took Kev her trainer four days. So, yeah, she, she's ready to go. And... Um, to do with the time, fighting at 10 o'clock in the morning, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, it is a bit weird, the time, but she normally spars at that time anyway. So, And I think in the last four weeks, they've, they've started to train around that time and, and, and push around that time, so so the body's used to it. And tomorrow, we've got uh, Kev's boy flying out and Coach G just to help uh, solidify that team for May 11th. Yeah, yeah, Co Coach G's going out as a, as a second Um to oversee the stuff as all like hand wrapping and stuff like that while Kev's obviously warming Nina up or vice versa and uh, Mitch is out there and he does her s &C, so he'll do the last week a bit of s and over some stretching and stuff like that and get her in tip top condition for Saturday stroke Sunday. Last time I spoke to Nina um, about a week before she did leave for Perth um, I did ask her the question are there any concerns about being unfairly treated in there because let's say I'll be right Shanika Johnson He's originally from New Zealand. I think she's been living in Australia for a long time. And although Nina is the world champion, it looks like she might be the away fighter. So, yeah, I know I spoke to you then and you seem to be fine, but there may be one or two concerns. Is that right? Yeah, I wouldn't say so much concerned. There was a couple of uh, small issues that, um, that are being resolved now. I think um, the WBA firstly instructed a whole, um, a whole um, judging panel from New Zealand and a ref from New Zealand. Um, I think Luda Benley's team jumped straight on that and uh, they changed it, but then they changed it to an all-Australian judging team and an Australian referee. So um, that's just being sorted out now because obviously the rest of the title fights on there, the other two title fights are by a totally neutral panel. So we spoke to Lou, Lou's a man of his word. Um, Lou's sorting it out now, so we'll have a, a totally neutral panel as well. But obviously, yeah, she did grow up in New Zealand. She uh, boxed for Australia. So listen, it's a 50-50 fight. We, we, we want to keep it a 50-50 fight. If she gets beat in a 50-50 in fight, listen, it's boxing. You've got to have a winner and loser. But we don't want a 75-25 or a 80-20 fight because of um, any untoward business, which, which, which there's not, none of that gone on so far. Obviously, we're not at the fight yet, but listen, we're just getting things straight now. Lou's getting things straight. And uh, yeah, we're on the fight night, it'll be a fair, a fair good fight. Yeah, look, as you said, it is a 50-50 fight. It's a great fight. And... You don't want the odds to go in there and be against you. Obviously, I know Nina as a person, she likes to be back against the wall, but there's only so much you can take. And yeah, there needs to be neutral judges for this world title fight, doesn't there? Yeah, 100%. In any any world title fight, there should be neutral judges. So I think um, at first they probably thought that um, she's, 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 an, she's in Australia. She's been in Australia a lot of years, so a New Zealand judging panel wouldn't, wouldn't be too bad. But... Yeah, it's, it's, it's no good for us. Same as an all-Australian judging panel and a referee is no good for us. And, uh, yeah, the judging panel as well had never really adjudicated over a fight of that magnitude. So, listen, Lou de Bella's sorting it. Lou's not happy with it either. So we'll have it sorted this week. And then, um, yeah, we'll see a good 50-50 fair fight. Yeah, look, it's uh, the biggest fight of your managerial career. It's a huge fight for Nina, huge fight for Kev. So let's get this sorted and then... Kind of, what is it, seven, eight days, we'll all be enjoying a great world title fight and hopefully Nina brings back that belt. Yeah, like, yeah, 110%. Listen, she's got the, she, she's, she's in the best shape of her life. 
she isn't she isn't the average 42 year old she's um she's very young minded very young bodied as well you know like so listen, i think we'll see a good fight and listen but let the best woman win like i said it's a 50 50 fight um and the best woman will win you know what i mean but obviously i've got nina i wouldn't be uh i wouldn't be sitting here saying anything otherwise you know what i mean but she's uh she, she'll bring her belt back 110 percent excellent leon uh is there anything else you want to add before we go and have a little workout no that's it can we skip the workout and go straight to the pool <laughs> Yeah, mate, let's do it. Cheers very very much, mate. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.